Hakan Ilker, I hope I'm saying your name right, um, has a poster titled Paleomagnetic Record of the Matuyuma Bruni's Reversal from the Central European Cave Setting. So feel free to unmute yourself and turn on the camera and you've got two. Thank you so much. I will share my screen. Uh, can you see my screen and my, can you hear me? Yep. Okay, thank you. So I am Hakan Uchar and I am a PhD student at Charles University in Prague. Uh, in this study, we try to locate Matyama Brunet's magnetic reversal in a cave sediment from Czech Republic. I will just zoom in a little bit. So we used a paleomagnetic method on 44 samples to understand the transition uh, behavior, uh, the magnetic field behavior during the transition. Uh, we also performed some rock magnetism measurements such as uh, high temperature magnetic susceptibility and IRM to figure out the magnetic carrier of the cave sediment. And at the end, we found out that most of the samples have low coercivity and the magnemite is the responsible uh, mineral for the magnetization of the cave sediment section. And as a result of alternative field demagnetization method, uh, inclination data cho showed a change from reverse to normal polarity. And this uh, revealed the multiple-bonus transition boundary between 7 and 13 centimeter depth of the studied cave sediment section. And we also plotted the virtual geomagnetic pole latitudes, and they showed a 75 degree change just before the transition. Uh, during the reverse polarity, and we think that this is uh, this shows the precursor ev event of the Matyamovness transition. Also, the magnetic pole was uh, fluctuating in the Eastern Africa, then it migrated to the uh, west of North America during the transition, and we think this is an important marker for the behavior of the magnetic field during the transition of the Matyamovness. We also uh, estimated the sedimentation rate of the cave uh, as seven millimeter per thousand year, years, which is very low. And this showed uh, 8,000 years transition uh, duration of the Matyama Brunness reversal. And the precursor event uh, occurred approximately 4,000 years before the transition. So thank you so much. Great, thanks very much for that, Hakan. Um, okay, we have uh, okay, Michael Graponi as well, who has, if I could just find it, has a poster on exceptionally low Cambrian age paleontological estimates from New Mexico. Can everyone see the screen? Yep. Cool. Uh, so this field study was done um, in February 2020, just barely managed to squeak it in before all the travel shut down and it was done at the very end of my PhD. And our goal was to go to New Mexico and resample um, the Florida Mountains, which had last been studied in the late 80s. And um, they found directions that were consistent with um, a Cambrian age Laurentia position. Uh, near the equator. And these data were collected on granites that had um, some questionable, potentially questionable mineralogy. And so we went back to try to restudy them and actually do some paleo intensity on them. And of the 40 sites that we went to, we got potentially acceptable data from three. And we got exceptionally low paleo intensity estimates. So I invite anyone to come by, talk to me more, uh, because these data that we've collected are relatively preliminary in terms of it, the non paleo intensity data that I have. The, uh, the implications from this are also still a point that I've been discussing with Andy and Anik as well. So if anyone wants to come tell me that these are terrible and I should just throw them away. Please do. If anyone wants to come say, oh, wow, these are amazing. I guess you can come as well. So stop by if anyone wants to just chat.
Great, thanks very much. Uh, we've got Dan Palmer next, who's got a poster on when did the inner core form insights from the characterization of the geomagnetic field in the EDF frame. So feel free to share your screen as well. Otherwise, you can do an interpretative dance, whatever you dance there. No one wants to see that, I think. <laughs> Sorry. Um, can you hear me okay here? And can you yeah, see no my screen? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll keep it really short. The poster that I brought this time is basically showing the summary of what I did during my PhD. In this project, we had a look at the field strength at the very end of the Precambrian, about half a billion years ago, and just have a look how well those intensities fit to the idea of the onset of inner core nucleation at that time. And if they could help us to, to tell more about why the magnetic field was especially strange at that time and behaving chaotically. And the poster that I brought is all of the results that I've measured myself and also a bit of statistics that shows more about the paleocycular variation at that time. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I want to say right now. If you want to know more, then come by, have a pint and chat with me about it. Thank you.